Hi, thanks for coming over to our tiny house. During COVID, we fell in love with the tiny house movement. We spent like all of our time outside of work watching videos about tiny house life, RV life, van life, and we just fell in love with the simplicity about it. We had already decided, my husband and I, that we were moving to a tiny house. We fell in love with all the videos. Like, that's us, and our kids were just growing up and moving out of the house. Like, where do we, do, like how, where, what do we do? And we found out like our very own city where we already live and have lived for 22 years has a tiny house village that's growing now and is on an organic farm like we're a vegan family this is incredible and so then it was all about how can we get to village farm and the idea around tiny house living is space as you need it and that's what I feel like we have here and so it's been amazing you know it's just a normal house with high quality I mean beautiful kitchen beautiful countertops and one of the things I love about it is that we have everything we need but nothing more and then there's just so much available to us here. Paying for that lot rent was something that just um, kind of made sense to us. It makes our life easier to be here and it's ending up being more affordable since we're not living in you know, a big home with a big mortgage and having that big property tax. Um, and then we're just so appreciative that they're taking care of the land, the property, the landscaping and all that stuff because that took a lot of time and a lot of expense and a lot of money for us as well. And I can't describe, I can't explain like the people. I mean, everyone says it, like you hear that in the Facebook group, but it's true. I mean, people are so nice and so helpful and I, I, it's hard to explain, it's hard to put words to it, but the type of people that move to a place like this, like you already have a lot in common with it. For the people that I've connected with, it seems like a, just a community and an intentional community, what the definition of that is. When it's not so hot out, everyone's like out on their porch because that's part of tiny house living is to like not be stuck in your tiny house, but also to be outside and be utilizing the fresh air and the spaces, which is something I really love and like about the ethos of the tiny house movement. And I said to my husband later that night, I think for me, it's like being at summer camp again or being a freshman in college again, which I love because I'm such a social person that there's just friends to be made and people to meet. So there's a lot of stuff going on in the community and I would recommend to people if you're thinking about moving here, watch the videos on YouTube because I feel like you get such a good sense of what it's like to live in a tiny house and how people so smartly do stuff. As I said, I'm not suffering at all. I have everything I need for my major big cooking days and everything I want to do. Um, also, because you can sleep over in a tiny house here, that's not a bad idea. Um, one of the other things we did before coming here is that I used to come to the garden club meetings even for two years before I was moving here. because I was like, I should meet these people. If this is our plan and this is our goal, like I should get to know them. They had like some game nights that I came to. So just to really like try to dive into your community. Um, also other ways that you can get involved are that you can volunteer in the farm on Wednesday mornings and on Saturday mornings. And so when I learned that, I just kind of blocked my schedule for both of those times and try to go as frequently as I can for all of that. Um, one of the big considerations for me was that there is still a place where I can host my big parties. I love to cook for people and have big groups of people over, but I didn't want to stay in my house for my like 12 nights a year big parties. Um, but there is a beautiful farmhouse here where I've already had two parties. Being a plant-based vegan family who loves to cook, being on an organic farm is a dream come true. And then having like a neighborhood of friends and other people have so much in common with you. Everyone here is so nice and so helpful and so kind. Literally for the first 90 days, every night I was like, can you believe it's our house? Like, this is crazy. And it just, I'm so proud of how well it came together. And 